Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so happy to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had an amazing weekend since I saw you last and happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. We are back for another Monday and I have some amazing things to show you. I am here rocking my side 80s look today because today I had my rainbow birthday party out back with just my little family with a little cookout in the backyard and I dressed all kinds of just funky fresh for my 80s vibe. I actually put those pics in my hair from the baking section at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can see it, but they came together quite nicely as like a little crown and I think that they're so cute. But yes, those are the baking picks to decorate cupcakes. Everything came out so adorable and so cute. I have my little balloon back there that was also from the Dollar Tree that I blew up and I love my Dollar Tree party supplies. So that is what we did today and now I'm sitting down with you, my beautiful friend's family, and we are about to haul so let's get into it I am gonna start off with something that is not summer at all I found two things that are fall for the first time and it is only the middle of July but here we are and I wanted to show them to you they came out with these beautiful little quilted feeling pumpkins right here and this one especially is my absolute favorite. It's like that sweater material. I think it is so adorable. It has this beautiful little twine, uh, little rope on it. And then it has a couple of beads and it says thankful on the little felt tag. This one I think is the cutest of the bunch. There were several different designs to choose from. It's very soft and fluffy and I absolutely, absolutely love it so so very much so that is the pumpkin that i picked out in this one as well so again it has these little twine ropes on it couple of beads and it says thankful on the tag with this really cool flannel vibe to it so these are the two that i found and yes i think they're just starting to get ready to bring out some of that fall stuff i will take pumpkins every time as long as they're cutesy tootsy and we'll see what else the fall brings us this year for 2022 and i love it now outside of that because those are the only two things that i bought for fall i absolutely refuse to go into anything else those were actually displayed closer to the register area and i couldn't leave them there once i saw the adorable little tags on it and the sweater material so i grabbed those now i did pick up this traditional strawberry right here for cake mix for Pillsbury. And this is a really great cake mix. I love the strawberry one. The cake mix is one cup of water, a half a cup of oil and three eggs. Mix it all together and you've got a fluffy strawberry cake. So I wanted to pick that up because I found a lot of baking cutesy little decorations that I cannot wait to make nice little cupcakes and decorate them with the new supply of baking items that they have come out with but I do want to get some whipped cream from the refrigerated section at the Dollar Tree because they usually have the cool whip containers in the refrigerated area I did not scout that out this time because I'm not ready to make the cupcakes just yet but I am going to these are sugar wafers and they're strawberry so I plan on doing a little cool whip topping on the cupcakes and then adding a wafer and just sliding it in with a cute little strawberry uh, you know a fresh strawberry cut up on the side of the wafer and that is how I'm going to top the cupcakes so I picked up this nice size package right here from this brand and this is this is a really good size package there's 20 packs of strawberry wafers in here my aunt she, my my she was my older elderly elderly aunt and we used to go over to her house. She used to give us ice cream and a cute little ice cream glass crystal dish. It was so pretty. She used to do a little scoop of strawberry and put wafers in it. So that reminds me of my Aunt Mary. So I, I definitely needed the wafers because they just, they hit my heart when I saw them. And that's a decent size package and strawberry is my fave. Now I did find these really amazing iced cookies right here from the Rolling 
pin company I've never heard of it before but I think that these are so sweet as well because I'm going to top some of the cupcakes with the wafers put a little cookie in it I think all of these summer tastes together the strawberry the lemon iced lemon cookies with strawberry that is like strawberry lemonade to me so I thought that this would be really cute topped on one of the cupcakes as well with the strawberry flavoring and then I found this one and I do have to say I love that brand name the rolling pin company I think that that is so clever and cute these are rainbow sugar cookies I'm I, I have rainbow on the brain because of all the rainbows that I've seen today in the decoration and the decorations of like the birthday the unicorn sugar cookies so look at how pretty they are all of those little crystal the blue pink and purple my three favorite colors all together with that cute little unicorn on the front package love this and you know the holidays are coming and i am known for putting together a cute little baking basket with so many different little odds and ends and finds from the dollar tree pulling it all together for like a little family bake night the holidays are coming back and i'm already thinking about putting these new products in gift sets so as most of us have probably seen at this point they do have this whole new little baking line that's coming out at the Dollar Tree that is called Twinkle and I think that the packaging and the contents inside are great I think they're fabulous for decorating as most of us know I do love to decorate cupcakes or cakes or any type of pastry and then I like to gift them away it's one of my favorite things to do I love the smell that it puts into the house I keep a couple left behind for us to just nibble on but mostly I give them away neighbors co-workers send them to work with like Isaiah or Richie for their co-workers and Richie's employees to enjoy and so I got some of these baking items to decorate with so I can start to make little baskets and containers full of baking goods so this one right here is the candy eyeballs and this is the bigger package because there's more eyeballs but they're smaller they do have another package with bigger eyeballs but there's less quantity inside so I picked the smaller ones and got more eyeballs for it so I picked up this one right here I also grabbed these beautiful little ones right here with crowns and all that all that gold and pink and white together for the princess mix so this is sprinkle mix and it's princess XO so look at the little crowns in there and I love I just love the pink beads I think that these are gonna look too adorable on a cupcake so I picked up that one there were so many different decorating options for sprinkles to choose from it was amazing the display it was set up so well it just looked really really cute and then I got these right here which is the pastel ones and I love all the color mixtures inside of here and this reminds me of like eastery vibes so I love I just love the color combination of all of those together really really cute and then I found this I found some of the blue frosted gel tube here and this is a 2.12 ounce frosting and it's the blue color I do want to see if I can find some of the other colors I you know believe are out there I think that there is definitely a pink and I would like to find that one but I did pick up the blue this time to use to decorate and I also found this which is the icing gel and it's blue also so too cute for words I just absolutely think that this stuff is so much fun it's it's crafty to me personally I just love the process of putting it together and making it look special and magical and these new items are definitely going to do the trick so that is what I picked up but the whole sprinkle line I think that they were all amazing sprinkles I just didn't want to overdo myself because I could have just like swiped it all into the cart and been done with it but I picked up the ones that I know I really want to use up this summer and then hopefully the line will stick around so that I can still you know decorate as the months go on and we get into other themes and Halloween's coming around and those googly eyes 
for the you know eyeballs from the twinkle is gonna work out really well to make like monster cupcakes with the eyeballs and everything I think it's gonna be so adorable so now I am stoked about this I am so excited I was able to find at another Dollar Tree today that I have not been to in quite a while and thankfully we stumbled right in there I found more of the containers and I did take a picture I don't know if they're coming back out but these containers were such a hit it was this a flat size here and then also another container that was a bit um, shorter and wider so this one is the flatter one but these contain so much stuff they have definitely just done the job in my craft room after so many times of like rerouting my crafts and trying to style it differently so that it makes sense I love the clear container I love that there were different um, handle colors and this one is the pink one and so the lid here these were such these were these were in and they were out of the store so quick around my area they would set them up and then they'd be gone so the this um the lid just sets right on there and then you snap the sides into place and then you carry it you just carry it right out of your craft room you can see all of the contents in it and it works out so amazingly well so I was excited I only grabbed three but I definitely wish I had you know just picked up maybe three more just in case so I picked up this one right here oh I put the wrong color lid with the wrong color clips so let me do that right so I can show you so this one is the green one right here these are such amazing amazing containers I think that they are fantastic one of my favorite organization pieces that the Dollar Tree has ever come out with ever was these containers in both sizes I think that they were phenomenal and then this one with the gray handles and um, the gray snaps on the side so I grabbed these babies and I'm happy but I will post the picture on my Instagram to show you that they've come back out on the shelf because maybe at your Dollar Trees they're gonna come back to and it's time to get back into organizing for like the school you know setup starting to happen where they're putting out all their school products maybe that stuff is coming out now because they are reintroducing it so that everybody can get organized in their dorm rooms for their classrooms teachers things like that and I'm super happy so so happy to have found those again now I did find some more stickers and these are really really amazingly beautiful so this is paper tape stickers and I've never actually seen these before not this style of a sticker and I love the um, variation throughout these borders right here look at all the options that they give us throughout each pattern I think that these are really really pretty for me to continue doing my card making and also my intention cards that I like to make so this is an amazing find and I'm happy happy that I got to pick this up it says 16 count um, there must be like a couple of sheets inside of here because there's not 16 across here so maybe there's a couple of little um, sheets to pull from in that package now my husband did want to grab a spray bottle because he wants to um, do some cleaning to his vehicle and stuff and so he grabbed a spray bottle sometimes these are really really hard to find but he he was like hey put this in the car I'm like where'd you find that but uh, the spray bottles were plentiful when I went back they all have a bunch of different spray colors for the tops and I just love them they're a great size they have measurements on them in case you are trying to like make your own type of solution and they have you know some guidelines that you can go by if you're mixing liquid in there to make some type of a cleaner or a spray 
So we grabbed that for him so that he can clean his vehicle. I'm going to plow through the food items really quick before we get to some really great books. I did grab the cotton, um, the rainbow sherbet cotton candy here from the Charms brand. And I picked this up as just like a little treat. I was feeling like I wanted to have a carnival moment today for my birthday. I didn't end up opening this one, but I did end up opening another package and putting it into like my little party favor boxes in rainbow baggies. So it came out really cute and this whole package stretched between eight different little favor boxes. So I was happy to grab this and the other one is all gone and home with other people right now. I also picked up these Lance crackers right here for Richie. He keeps these in his locker at work. These are really, really good. These are the Captain's wafers. They're cream cheese and chive. And there's six packages of four sandwiches in each. So I grabbed that right there from that brand. He also wanted to try these right here. He um, wanted to pick these up again is what I'm saying. I think Isaiah wanted to try them as well. So we grabbed more of these. We haven't bought these in a couple of weeks, but they are really good. This is Nature's Garden. It's a multi-pack for individual servings inside of here. And for $1.25, you know, Isaiah can take a couple, Richie can take a couple, and they're a decent little snack. They just come in, oh, let me open it for you. Um, they come in these individual packages right here with the contents inside of them. Oh, guess what I did today? Guess what I did? And no, I didn't record it. So look at my hands and guess what I did today. I'm not even gonna tell you. It was my birthday. It's one of my favorite things to do ever. Um, and I did not record it because I didn't have as much dye available to me as I thought was stashed inside of my containers. So I have to find it, but it is my favorite activity in the summer. And I did it on my birthday, again, at home for my cookout night. So. That is why my hands look like this and leave it down in the comments below if you want to guess what happened to me in my hands today. <laughs> and I don't like wearing gloves because I can't really get like into it when I'm wearing gloves that are distracting me. So right here I grabbed this one as well. This one is the fruit trail mix. This one is, you know, just the four little packages inside of there. This is what is offered inside of each little pouch. Two for Isaiah, two for Richie. So cute little snacks for work and this too I got them each a package and this is brand new I've never seen this before and this is that brand right here sometimes they have chips um, of that brand at the Dollar Tree this is salsa picante picante hot medium mild mixed nuts peanuts cashews almonds um, with a top top Beto? <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to butcher it. We already know that. That's the word right there. That's the word right there. And I'm not going to try to kill it. Flavored seasoning is what it says on all of those mixed nuts right here. And this is a hefty little package, quite honestly. Even though it's down here, there's a lot of contents in the bottom of this for that $1.25 price. If there is like a good like sprinkle of mixed nuts in there so i got them each a package for work this week i also picked up their favorite um oatmeal here this is made with whole grain oats this is fruit and cream variety pack instant oatmeal there's strawberries and cream in here three packages peaches and cream in here three packs so there are six packages all together of those two different types of oatmeal and the guys love it in the morning I also found these Ritz brand crackers right here. Ritz is a really good brand. It's from Nabisco. This is cheese crisps, um, crispers, cheese crispers. It's cheddar, potato, and wheat chips. And this is a regular size box that you would find in the grocery store around my area anyways for about $2.50. So to grab the whole box for $1.25, I grabbed two boxes for the guys, you know, to just kind of separate into Ziploc baggies, put them in their lunchbox for work. And that is a steal and I love it. Now I did grab some chips for tonight's cookout. I already had 
I grabbed two bags of each. And so when you add up the amount inside of each bag, these are hefty little bags. $1.25 each, two bags, that's $2.50. That's like, you know, going to the store and grabbing a bag of chips for around that price of $2.50, $3 a piece. So I just grabbed them at the Dollar Tree. This is the Wise brand, my, one of my favorite brands for chips. This is the Ridge, and we had them with our hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill tonight while we were outside doing our birthday activities and enjoying the evening with family. Now, we're almost done with the food, I promise. This is the kettle cooked right here from Home Style Select. These are so, so good. I love kettle chips, just love them. And when I have them, it's only on a rare occasion and I grabbed two bags of these tonight. Again, the content in here is plentiful. Really, really nice big bag of chips. This is old fashioned kettle cooked original potato chips. So I grabbed two bags of that and they are really good, really crunchy and really kettle -y. And they were yum. And then Richie's lunch right here. I love that they have a sugar-free option in the waif wafers. They are just a nice snack for him to feel like he's having a little treat when he wants one. So there are the sugar-free vanilla wafers from that brand right here. And it's made with stevia, which is a really good sweetener. So picked up that. Now, this is probably my favorite, favorite find of all the food items. This brought me right back to lunchtime at home on a sick day when I was home from school. You guys leaving? Uh, yeah. All right, I love you. Um, be careful driving. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week at work. Thank you. All right, text me if you need anything, if you want me to pick you up that medicine or anything. Okay. All right, I love you. Um, this is the SpaghettiO here from the Campbell's brand. This is the original SpaghettiOs. And look at the big container that this is in. Something was so special about being home from school sick and my mom warming this up for me in a saucepan on the stove with a little bit of SpaghettiOs. The taste of it, I can like taste it right now, to be honest with you, sitting on the couch watching Nickelodeon and enjoying some SpaghettiOs at mom's. So this is probably the biggest can I've ever seen because they usually come in a smaller one. This is pasta, tomato, and cheese sauce, and it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. It's not wonderful. It's, it's you know, it's a spaghetti. It's not super amazingly good for you, but it's not super horrible for you anyways if you just want a little smiling happy treat. And for $1.25 for that big can, I got two of them. So I love that. Now I found these books. I found these books that made me so happy and I could not wait to share them with you. I think that this is so amazingly cool. It says, things I did when I was hangry. <laughs> navigating a peaceful relationship with food and I think that this is really a cool concept this says rethink your relationship with eating um it says let does it say like an inside um it just gives you so many cool ideas of how to relate to like your thoughts of food and your eating habits this book right here went for $18 and 95 cents in a culture that encourages young girls and women to strive for physical perfection at any cost um it shows us that recovering from eating um from disordered eating patterns and body image is issues is possible her message is both practical and inspirational so I just thought that that was so amazingly cool. I love that word hangry. We use it a lot around this house when people are, you know, moody. We usually say, are you hangry? <laughs> um, so, but this is really, it's an, it's an amazing book. It's a paperback book. There's so much information inside of it, so many learning tools. And I just thought that that was absolutely wonderful and fantastic. So I picked it up. Mom's five second memory journal, a memento of motherhood. This is a sweet little cute book. It's a hardcover book. And let's see um, how much it went for. I love the size of it. I love that it's a smaller, cute, really sweet style of a book. It 
went for ten dollars right here so i picked this up and inside it gives you all of these amazing little pages here this is what makes my heart sing and then it gives you a place where you can take notes and other notes and it also gives you like a q a to choose from up here the sound of a baby laughing my significant other's hand in mine the smell of roses the sound of my snoring dog the sight of the ocean or mountains or desert you can check off whichever one makes your heart sing and um top five ipod songs i'm just kind of skimming uh, through food equals love maybe my lovers um i'll take chips salsa croissants burgers fries ice cream candy other then it leaves you notes just cool little ideas to jot down it says here whether you're a mom you're a mom with only five seconds to spare or a mom with an attention span of five seconds this journal is for you filled with quick and easy prompts this book is ideal for capturing those priceless moments of motherhood so I thought that that was super nifty and cool and amazing and I am still gonna fill that out now even at this point now let me see because we only got a couple more minutes and I can't wait to show you the rest of these so I found this book right here and I am obsessed. Halloween is coming back around and I love Halloween. I love thrillers and all the cool creepy things. It says a people's history of the vampire uprise. So it's a big, beautiful, hardcover, amazing, fantastic, thick old book here. And let's see how much it went for originally. So it, this book went for, let me see, this book went for $27 right there. And let's see what it says inside. This is an ambitious and wildly original debut, um, part social political, part in, um, international mystery. A new virus turns people into something a bit more than human, a pending society uh, a pe yep, a pending society as we know it. So amazing. I love it. It sounds so good. It's a nice, great read, big, thick book. And I'm really excited about reading that and enjoying that over the Halloween season. I did grab my mom a large print word find here. And so this is easy to read puzzle fun. I think that their puzzles that they offer the word searches you know the crossword puzzles i think it's called sudoku there's so many different um books like this in all different sizes in the book section and it's just so amazing to have these on hand for only a dollar 25 a piece sometimes over the holidays i'll bring handfuls of these types of books to our local shelters to bring them to nursing homes i bring them to the library and drop off stacks of these for people that just kind of like frequent the library and sit and hang out in there and these i think are just great to share with your family friends yourself your community and it's great because it's cognitive and it helps you you know it helps you keep your mind sharp so i love that now i'll stop with this right here i will stop with this right here even though my mom super wants me to haul these books so that i can get them to her because she's so happy that i found so many of them that she absolutely loves but i found this and this is tailgate football season is coming i've already been warned richie has already told me x amount of days to football x amount of days to football and then my whole entire house turns into football all the way through so i thought that this was awesome that i found it this is tailgating adult mad libs two mad libs in one it says the world's greatest tailgate game so it's this cute little flip book right here where you can do mad libs all the way through look at how thick it is how many pages to work through here i love this so much it said if you just heard someone say of course the best part part of any slimy tailgate is in the drinks these get so silly when you do mad libs i actually had a client this is like just like filling in the blanks here um this book originally went for six dollars and 99 cents shows you some other ones that you can also get 
in this line right here I used to have a client that I worked with personally at home for at home care and when I after I got her all bathed and fed and all that stuff she used to whip out her Mad Libs books and we used to do them for hours for hours my beautiful Darcy may she rest in peace she was a young girl she was my age she has since gone to um, heaven and she was my mom worked with her and I also worked with her and she was obsessed with Mad Libs so this is for my family that's obsessed with football and a memory toward Darcy that absolutely loved doing Mad Libs with me and her laughter was contagious so these can be really silly and funny and they ask you you know mad libs is fun to play with friends but you can also play it by yourself to begin with do not look at the story on the page below fill in the blanks on this page with the words called for then using the words you have selected fill in the blank spaces in the story now you've created your own hilarious mad lib game it tells you give me an adjective give me a verb give me a noun person in the room a verb a noun um, a letter a letter of the alphabet an animal it just gives you all of these silly little things that you can fill in the blanks and then you have to forward them and put them through the story and then you read them as it's written out and it is hilarious if you've never done mad libs you should at least try it once it is a fun fun time so that is it happy monday dollar tree haul everyone i love you guys so so much thank you for being here with me and i hope that you really enjoyed this happy monday haul i also hope and pray that you enjoyed my really lengthy beautiful friend mail opening yesterday on sunday i just absolutely absolutely in awe was in love with everything that everybody thought to send to me and share with me and make for me with their hands and their hearts and I am just so so incredibly grateful everyone showered me with love beyond you know with their with their creativity and their kindness and I am so thankful and grateful one of the packages at the end um, that my beautiful friend Carol sent me I guess one of the packages said it was for my mom and her housewarming you know for her gift and so I've since you know put that aside and I'm gonna give it to my mom I didn't read the package and see that but my mom will be super grateful that you thought of her at you know to send her anything for moving into her new house you guys are just so incredibly generous and sweet and I am so fortunate to know every single one of you every single one of you I'm just so happy and blessed so I hope you guys have an amazing amazing couple of days until I see you next on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul if you're new here hi I'm Callan and I would love it if you'd stay subscribe like share comment down below hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays Mondays and Wednesdays and it is my happy place. Um, other than that, I'm just, you know, going to get ready for bed and ready to start another day. It has been a long one, but a beautiful one, a blessed one. I feel so grateful for this weekend, the time that I got to spend with my family. And I'm just, I'm just so grateful every day for all the little things in the world that make the biggest difference to me in my life. And it's you guys too. So thank you for that. I am going to try to go scout out a new um, a tripod stand today that can hold the ring light. I've been struggling with that for the last couple of weeks. My tripod broke. My light has to be propped up in an awkward, precarious position. And it keeps hitting my glasses, um, leaving rings in my eyes. And it's driving me bananas. So I'm going to go out and try to see what I can scout out for that. Um, um, over this week and fix that scenario so my week is just gonna be you know just work and scouting things out as usual for Dollar Tree and grocery shopping and all the cool things that I can find that I can't wait to bring to you so I hope you all go have the most happy healthy safe strong love blessed and always kind to one another week and share it with everyone else that you impact every single day I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few. Bye everyone.